Hey guys, it's Wes. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock Fenley, the best fender in the game, as well as the crane puzzle, which is probably one that's going to give a lot of people issue in order to get to Fenley. So we're going to start from here. And then we're going to make our way down to the elevator. Once you get down here, just make sure you clear the whole area. So th there's a lot of area that you can cover and there's a lot of loot you can have. But the first thing you need to do, just make sure you activate this whisper. Alright, so once you activate the Whisper, I've already cleared all the enemies here. There might be some to the left, but the next thing you need to do, just make sure you come around here. And you see this ladder right here? This is not going to be here for you, but I've already done it. So I'm going to show you how to activate this ladder. Just put it, push it down. So, you need to go around this way. And once you are here, there's a lot of things you can do around here. But you need to come up here. And then while you are here, so what you do, you're going you're gonna to have to move that crane, which you see here. It's this one right here. So you move it this way so you can push it. I'm going to just show you how I did it. So you just push it. Just make sure that it is close enough that when you jump and you don't miss your jump. So then you can come here and then hopefully I don't miss that jump. All right. And then once you get here, then you come this way and then this is where you activate the ladder. So the ladder is, is right here. So this is where you're going to kick the ladder. So you're going to have this lad ladder available to you. Now, once you have this ladder available, so you're not going to need the crane in that position anymore. So your next thing you're going to have to do, I'm going to show you. Instead of you keeping the position of this platform here, you're just going to have to move it in the other direction and I will show you why. You need to move it somewhere around here or a little bit closer where you can, you're going to need that to jump on the other side. I think here should be good enough for you can jump from that pillar here. But now the reason why you want to do this is because let me show you once we go up the ladder here. You need to move that platform over here so you can jump on there so you can make it to the other way so you can activate that other whisper that's going to give you access to where Fenley is at. So just move it to that position where you see me put it at because you already done the ladder area so you're good to go on that one. So your next thing is to come here and you're going to jump here and you're going to jump over here. And then this is the reason why you move this platform here because you don't need the ladder anymore, but you need this platform here. And then you're going to come here, get whatever loot you need. And then you, this is where you activate this whisper. 
So once we activate this whisper, then we can continue on to make our way to the prison where Fenley is. So we're going to get up this ladder right here. Get you some loot. And uh, here, there is this thing right here that you need to activate. And what this is going to do is going to open the gate down there for you to actually move on to the prison. So we're going to come here and then we can come down this way. And then you're going to come to the prison. There's going to be enemy here. Because I haven't killed these ones yet. So you got to contend with these enemies here. This guy right here is going to try to stab you. Just make sure you kill him. He almost killed me. All right. Now that you get this guy, you're going to make your way in here. And you're going to use that wheel to actually open the gate. The door you're trying to go to is this door right here. So every time you push this gate, one door is going to open. The first door doesn't matter. So we're going to push this. And you're going to see... Once the door is open, this one doesn't really matter. So there's some loot in here you can get, but there's no enemy in here. So we're going to push it to open the next door. This enemy is here. Get rid of that enemy. And then we're going to push it some more to open the last door that we want. And that's this one. Just dispatch these two guys. Now you can hear family. And then uh, you're going to go this way. This is very weird, but this is the way it is. Alright, and then you're going to go to your left. Listening to family, he's in here, right? Right here, but you need to get to open the door so you can put him out. All right, so in order for you to open the door, you're going to go this way. Just take your time because it's a jumping puzzle. You can fall. And there's an enemy here trying to kill you. So we're going to go up here. But we want to make our way to this ladder. But let's get rid of this enemy first. Alright, so we're going to go up this ladder right here. And come this way. Like I said, be careful so you don't fall. And then once you get here in this break right here, then you're going to jump on this one. Go all the way to the end of this wall. Now this is the tricky part here, so you can fall to your death here, but what you need to do, just take your time so you can make this jump. Alright, once you get here, you're going to go up here, and then you're going to walk on this beam. Just take, you take it slow. And then this is where you find the key to get Fenley out of the jail. So go back here. Now you can decide to die here and then just respawn at the at the closest whisper, or you can just walk work as slow as you can. Just keep your balance. This is very tricky. And once you get here. Now we can just go down this way. And then remember this way, this is the way that we came and get those enemies. So we're going to do the same thing, the same route. And then come up this way. And then now that you have the key, then you can open the gate for them. 
and talk to him. So once you talk to him, he's going to be in Sacrament. So I'm going to show you where he is in Sacrament so you can talk to him on Saturday. Now in Sacrament, this is where we are right here in the between the town center. So you start from here and we're going to go up the stairs. And then once you come here, you see this statue right here. Just make the right right here. And then Finley is going to be sitting right here. But as you can see, he's not here right now. So if you look at here and you read this thing, you're going to see that he's only here on Saturday. On the last line it says, but usually you will find me Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. That's when he's going to be here. Just set your watch. That way you can come see him. You got a whole... 24 hours or something so you can just come in here and buy some stuff from him. I'm going to show you the stuff that he sells on a clip that I did on Saturday and you should be good to go. Anyway, that's how you solve the crane puzzle and get the best vendor in the game. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.